Hello. It's like 11.30 a.m. It's a beautiful day outside. pretty heavy. I started and finished this in like a couple days but I kind of wish I read it over a longer period of time because there's just like so much to take in and I feel like now I'm just overloaded with all of this deep heavy stuff because this book is like about life and death and, you know meaning and <laughs> death and meaning and now it's like 12.30 I should probably go eat something Every day I'm like home so I usually just make a schedule for myself Today I told myself I would finish this book Which I did um, I had work in the morning and I did that And I also told myself I would film So this is me being productive I also have to work on my Coursera class I enrolled in this class for a design UX UI design course That's probably gonna take a couple hours And then I have my summer class later at 4pm So I have to get on that, it's gonna be on Zoom That's gonna go on for like 2 hours, so from 4 to 6 And then after, like right after I'm gonna go meet my friend and we're gonna get dinner Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. For lunch, I'm just gonna have this spinach soup. I had this for breakfast too, but it's really good, so I'm just gonna eat it again. Mm -hmm. So good. A little spicy. Just good. Mm -hmm. So I got this matcha powder from Chamberlain Coffee and I haven't tried it yet because it just came yesterday So I think I'm gonna try to make a matcha latte I also got this really cute cup This came in a set of four and it was only like $30 Which I think is a good deal so I just got it The problem though is that I don't have a frother so I'm just gonna have to do it with my hand Heating up some water seeing you again until I buy a milk frother this is another book that I bought pretty recently you can't really tell from here but it is like a faith based book I think I'm gonna start reading this just for a little bit because I told myself I would start working on my Coursera stuff at 2 it's 1.15 right now so I might just read for a little bit also, the more I drink this, it just tastes like milk. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but maybe I should learn how to use matcha powder. I'll put that on my to-do list. I didn't read that much yet, but 
from what I've read so far already, I feel so like, oh no, connected to it already because she talks about how her faith brought her peace even though she's experiencing all of these toxic thoughts and there are times where like it's hard because I have all of these thoughts that just spiral and make me like severely anxious and it's not good but I think coming back to things like reading my bible always helps or like just listening to Christian music I feel like in recent years, I've been learning to bring more to my faith because I think ever since COVID started, I've been experiencing a lot of a lot of things I haven't really experienced before COVID. Mm, like right after high school for me was when COVID started and during that time, a lot happened and I was just like or a lot happened like in the world too and so i just like felt without me even realizing i think i just started feeling really unsafe and that's when i just felt really anxious but through that my faith definitely got stronger and so in a way i guess i'm kind of glad i went through those experiences because i can definitely say i'm like stronger in my relationship with god and yeah there's so much peace and like joy in being with God and just finished class um I don't know why but I'm like really tired so I think I'm gonna take a nap. Yeah. I just took a nap, so I feel kind of dead. But I'm gonna go pick up my friend now and go get dinner. This is my outfit. I room is such a mess, but I forgot I had these pants. But wearing these red pants from Uniqlo and this top from Brandy Melville. 